Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodeholt. This week we are spending time with the antitheses, statements that Jesus made in the Sermon on the Mount that start, You have heard that it was said, and end with, But I say to you. In these statements, Jesus takes the law of Moses and extends it to invite us into lives that express love of our neighbor. Today's antithesis is probably the one that we are most familiar with. You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evildoer. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your coat, give your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go also the second mile. Give to everyone who begs from you, and do not refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. We know and remember this one, perhaps because it seems so opposite of what we typically want to do. And if you had to sum up what this one is about, you can pretty much do it in one word. Retaliation. Back in Exodus 21, Moses had established the well-known law, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Unfortunately, we tend to misinterpret that law and what it was really about. We tend to think it means, if you knock out my eye, I get to knock out yours. We see it as permissive of what we can do. But that's not what the law was about at all. Rather than being permissive, it was intended to be restrictive. The point was to limit retribution. It means something along the lines of, take no more than an eye for an eye. Or to put it another way, if someone knocks out your tooth, you may not behead him in retaliation. Then Jesus gives three examples that connect to their lives under Roman rule. If someone slaps you, which was a way of denigrating or insulting someone, instead of how to retaliate, Jesus tells them to turn the other cheek as if they are ready to receive another. Likewise, the coat or shirt. Jesus couches this example as if they are part of a lawsuit, and he says to give it up freely. This may also have had connection to Roman taxation, which was viewed as the Romans robbing Israel of wealth and pride. A third example was being forced to go one mile, and instead of resenting that, to go two. The Romans were well known for commandeering pack animals or boats or even people to carry their supplies. Israelis had to carry their baggage as if they were slaves, and this practice was widespread and highly resented. But again, Jesus calls us to be a member of a transformed society where the old rules don't apply, and we are called to live in love for others. Once again, this is hard. We want to be treated fairly and with respect. But Jesus reminds us that our focus should be not on how we are treated, but on how we treat others. Maybe another part of the law of Moses might sum this maybe another part of the law of Moses might sum this up well. In Leviticus 19:18 we read, "Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against anyone, but love your neighbor as yourself." I am the Lord. Gandhi was supposed to have said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth leaves the whole world blind and toothless. Jesus calls us to a different way. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.